And uh, welcome to Whiskey Buds. Howdy. I'm Kurt. I'm Billy. And we're going to continue Billy's 100 Whiskey Journey. You know, you didn't care much for Maker's Mark. I was going to say, we already tried this, right? Well, we tried Maker's Mark. This is Maker's Mark finished. But then what they do is they put it in their little like lime rich cellar and they throw an extra 10 staves inside the barrel. The heck is a stave? That's like the, the, it's, it's a, the stave is actually what they make the barrels out of. And so it's like just a big chunk of wood, basically. <laughs> just throw wood in there? Essentially, yeah. They just char the wood and throw it in there of different makes and types of wood, which impart slightly different flavors. So this is like really flavorful? It is going to be more flavorful than the original, but... Oh, that was a good one. Pop. But we'll see whether you like it or not more than the original. Hmm. So the first one wasn't that great, and this has more of it, so... Yeah. <laughs> not that great. That's it. Um, I still like the wax, though. That's cool. The, the, the way they do the bottle, and I like this bottle even more than the original, you know, with that squarish. I like I like the rounded off design. After we got into the say, bottle design see, from like last week. Where do you see the square at? Oh, that's that's <laughs> like the the original Maker's Mark is a more of a squarish bottle. You know, this is more rounded shoulders. And, oh, okay. You're talking about that bottle. I'm like, yeah. there's no squares on there at all. It's just yeah, it's like completely round rounded. Yeah, no. Like, I'm saying I, I prefer this bottle design even over the original Maker's Mark bottle design. Looks classy. Looks nice. It does. Just I like little... that little wax seal right on front. Is that wax too or is it plastic? I don't know. It's probably plastic. I, but think, I think it's wax. They, they, they got the coloring correct so that it's sure the this, same. Yeah, this, this wax feels a little plasticky anyway. Mm -hmm. but. Well, they, they spent several iterations to try to get the right color and consistency to the wax. Oh, really? Yeah. We should burn it and see what happens. Yeah. You, you can. <laughs> You're like, please don't light start anything on episode fire. <laughs> later on, yeah. <laughs> so they have like 10 different staves that they put in here. Um, it's, it I think it says of, on the back here. It smells good. 10 seared French oak staves. That's what it is. French oak staves. Seared. So seared is like they, you know, burned them with a blowtorch or whatever, seared them. Okay. No, that'd be a fun job, huh? Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, take this blowtorch and just go. And just sear these, <laughs> these French oak staves. So think of a, uh, like wine barrels will age in French oak in a lot of cases. And so think about those kind of barrels being charred, you know, in this case, you know, seared, and then dumped into a barrel so that they can age and, and slightly, essentially they don't age, but they season the whiskey that's already been aged in the standard new American oak barrels. So they make this in Kentucky. Yep. And they they buy oak from France. Yep. Well, that doesn't seem very smart. You know, if, don't if we have gonna, oak? <laughs> you don't have French oak here. No, you got American oak when you grow it here. Well, let's see if it makes a difference. It smells good. Yeah. It really does. What is it? I mean, it's been forever since we had Maker's Mark, but... Yeah, there's nothing really to say about the smell like it. No. It, it smells like... Like, this does say that it'll be a little more... A little more intense than, than the original Maker's Mark, and it does... I do get that on the scent. I guess I'd have to, like... From... Smell from what I remember <laughs> from Maker's Mark, yeah. It smells somewhat strong. and I, It's I like 46%, so. I just mean like the oak juice. Oak juice. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I think you're going to get that. And you're going to get a mixture of American and French oak juice. It's strong. That's a pretty bold flavor. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's something a little different. Like it, it's definitely more to it. Like it is bolder than than what I remember the original being. Like full on. And I know the original. They they talk about using the 
uh, wheat or winter wheat or whatever it is um, instead of rye to make it a slightly smoother, less spicy. Which is really funny because you don't care for the rye whiskey because of that rye spice to it uh -huh. that we find. But then you didn't like Maker's Mark, which doesn't use rye because it said the rye is a little bit harsh when we put it into bourbon. You know, it adds that little spice. We don't want that. We'll add wheat that adds a softness, a little bit of sweetness to it. And then you didn't like that, but then you don't like rye whiskey so much. Unless we smoke them, then you, then you, gotta, you enjoy it. You got to clean you clean the, the you palate here. Got to refresh the palate. Because this isn't what I expected. Okay. It's like, okay, we last week we tried... Uh, Amrut, the in Indian single malt that... Right, we had barley recently. Yeah, the, like the last three episodes were like barley. And they had the... Because we had the Balvini, had, yeah, yeah. we had the Cavalon. Yeah. We had Amrut. Okay, so all of those had like um, the the... The tiny bubbles. Okay, yeah. <laughs> on the tongue. Yeah. And the little feel of crispness, kind of, mm -hmm. you were describing. Yeah. This just kind of seems flat compared to those. Okay. Like it's, it's like a syrup without the sugar. Syrup without the yeah. I mean, it's not it's, oily, it's, it's, but it's like. It's thicker, right? It's definitely thick. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I definitely get where you say say thicker, like compared to like the last few weeks. Yeah, okay. I I don't know. It's not. It doesn't feel heavy. Like it. It. No, but the flavor is 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 thicker, right? Like there's there's a body to that flavor that isn't. I don't know, actually, this is this. Is it's like, hard to say because even that <laughs> other flavor, like the other whiskeys, like had the, had that flavor to them, but. This is oak like, syrup. It's, this is what this is. Okay, oak syrup. I, oak I syrup. Like it. it went from oak juice to oak syrup because this is <laughs> this, a little more of it. It yeah. is. It's oak syrup. It, it's not like, I don't know, I'm not getting crazy. Like, it just drowns out the alcohol and it, like, it tastes kind of flat compared to those other ones. And it's just like a there, lot of flavor. It's good flavor. It tastes good, yeah. yeah. Um, the complexity is not on the same level as those other like the Kavalon especially. No. The Amroot, you know, um, still had some more. And that Balvini, yeah, that had more complexity to it. This is this harkens back more to the Four Roses, which is, of course, another bourbon, which this is. No, this is better than Four Roses, though. Is it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think it's because you've had more whiskey to drink before drinking this than you did before roses. <laughs> no, it just wasn't. You, you do know uh, that you do know that that this is going to be like this is better than four roses. Remember this, anybody who actually watches it, because we're gonna pair this up in with four roses in a blind tasting and see if he still agrees with that assessment. Yeah. You know, in a few weeks. See, like. Night, now you're worried, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, th these blind tests are just crazy. They're like, I was just trying to think about like those, that lineup, and I'm like, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's going to be brutal. <laughs> this is, uh, we're, we're not going to get anything more brutal than that foolproof tasting that we did. Uh, that's true. Like that, that had to be the most brutal thing we've done on this channel. Yeah, we've so I'll, just starting out fresh for the night mm -hmm. would be interesting with this one. Okay, yeah, because I'm not starting out fresh. No, <laughs> <laughs> and right now it's not bad. Like the the bold flavor is kind of yeah, kind of nice. Um, but yeah, starting off, I it's, don't know. A, it might be a little overpowering. I could definitely see that. Like it real, I really could. But it's pleasant. It's nice, right? Oak syrup. That's what it, it is. Oak syrup. <laughs> said even after, even if, even after a night of drinking, <laughs> it's still oak syrup. Yeah. That's all I gotta say about that. That's it. It's just, yeah. Thanks for watching.
Yep. Hope you're drinking something if, good. If, if you're listening, I'll go with the Four Roses over this, but... I don't know. Next time we ought to try... Don't we? We'll have... Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll try. We'll have to no, we will. Like, I feel like the Four Roses is not enough... The flavor is just not on point like this is. Okay. I, 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 I like that because th that's where those blind tastings really come in because we we I don't do like this. the blind tasting and, and then we do the blind tasting <laughs> <laughs> you know but that's the fun is that you get to discover that you were wrong and you're like okay well now actually <laughs> I feel so good I'm like this is this and this is this and the blind taste is like smack you're wrong <laughs> you're like son of a gun oh all man alright uh, join us uh, next week when Yep. I, I think we've got enough for a blind tasting, so that's we probably do. what we'll have next week. Uh, cheers, everybody. See ya.